Hey everyone, I'm here with Greg Soto. Hey Greg. How's it going? Great, how are you? Good, good. Having a good day so far. Good <laughs> weather so far, I think, today in Indiana. So Yeah, today is good. Yesterday, not so good. But <laughs> um, So Greg, you just came over to EXP. You're in Indiana. Tell us a little bit about, well, give us like a brief history of where you were at, how long you've been in real estate, and then tell us how you ended up here and what helped you make the move. Right. So a little bit about me. I we, we moved here to Indiana from Florida about six years ago. And, That's the wrong uh, way, Greg. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, so it's a little bit of family. We can get to that on uh, maybe on another time. <laughs> okay. um, but uh, I I was in uh, technology. I was in the technology field mm -hmm. uh, for about 15, 16 years. Okay. Started doing that here when we first moved. And even at that point, I wanted to get into real estate. It's something that's always interested me. Okay. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to do it. So, but it, the time wasn't right. So I continued with IT. And then, you know, I started, uh, you know, along with that, I went back to college and took some courses and so mm -hmm. forth. And I have a really, you know, passion for marketing as well. Uh, I, I believe that I have a pretty good marketing sense and a pretty good marketing creativity mind. Nice. Um, so I started studying that and mm -hmm. uh, put all that together. And uh, out of nowhere, uh, something came up where at the place that I was working that they were looking for a uh, bilingual uh, college recruiter in, in admissions. Okay. So I believe I was kind of like the dark horse in it, you know, but uh, I went along with it. Uh, what other language do you speak? Uh, well, I, I speak Spanish fluently okay. and I'm very, uh, very minimally. I do uh, Portuguese. I okay. understand it uh, way better than I right. speak it. Um, so I'm, I'm getting there. I'm almost trilingual. I'm, nice. I'm getting there. I'm practicing uh, because of my heritage. Um, and that's another podcast. The only uh, Portuguese, is it Obrigado? Obrigado. Obrigado. Okay. Obrigado. Bom dia. That's, yeah, you gotta, that's you gotta, all you gotta, right you gotta, it's almost like that Italian thing. You gotta, yeah, it's the hands flowing all <laughs> yeah, over yeah, the place, yeah. the Latin thing going. <laughs> nice, um, all right. So I got a position at a local university here at uh, to be their uh, associate director of admissions. Okay. It was like crazy. I was like beside myself. Um, and then that's when I'm like, you know, I'm pretty good at marketing myself. And, you yeah. know, I'm pretty good at selling myself and I'm pretty confident in what I can do and cannot do. Um, and that's one thing about me. I, if I don't know it, I'll tell you, honestly, I don't know it. I'll right. get the right people to figure that out for me right. and for you. Um, I, I try to stay in my lane, you know, yeah, as much good. as possible. Nice. Um, so, you know, it got to that point and uh, did that for about two, two and a half years. The COVID thing hit, of mm -hmm. course, uh, mm -hmm. like many people. Mm -hmm. And I was, I believe, one of eight that got let go. You know, it's one of those things where, you're probably making too much money for what you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then, you know, I thought about it for two weeks. Uh, talk Perfect with opportunity. Wife. Yeah. And I said, you know what? Uh, you know, I would really like to probably, you know, uh, sell homes, you know? And, and, and I got such a thrill out of talking with students and families mm -hmm. about the possibilities of spending, you know, an average maybe $150,000 or $200,000 in, in school. Right. So I'm like, well, wait a minute. I'm pretty good at doing things online, having meetings, being in person, talking on stage now. Mm -hmm. I was on TV here locally in Indiana oh, on Telemundo, on the Spanish TV station, <laughs> uh -huh. a, a couple of times. Nice. Um, did radio. I don't mind being on camera. Don't mind doing, mm -hmm. you know, podcasts and so forth. And I said, you know what? It's it's not that different of a transition. No. I'm I'm selling a college tuition to families. Right. So why can't I just transition instead of speaking about college? I'll, I'll just talk about, look at this great house I got here for you. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. Seems so like an easier school. sale. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I went to, you know, I went to a school, I, I, I passed the schooling and I took the tests. Uh, I passed it on the fourth time. So oh. don't be discouraged. Any, <laughs> any agents out there or, um, or uh, people that are thinking about getting in, do not give up. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the second and third time. I missed it by one point. Oh, man. so it's one of those things that it's like, are you? I looked at the thing and I'm like, are you kidding me? Right. One point. 
That's terrible. So, uh, yeah, so I, I passed on my fourth try, which is mm-hmm. great. And, uh, you know, and after that, I just, uh, I started uh, interviewing uh, a couple of different local agents, uh, you know, brokerages around here, mm-hmm. agencies. Mm-hmm. And uh, I decided to choose one. It was a smaller brokerage. Um, okay. And uh, and then, you know what? I stuck around for about three months. Like I said, it's only been since like January, end of January, that I've been an actual licensed right. uh, broker agent. associate, mm-hmm. real estate agent. And just, I've been always looking at EXP folks mm-hmm. online. Mm-hmm. Like something always rang to me about, the whole process because mm-hmm. I think it might be it might be because of my technology background. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably. And I think so, and also just the forward thinking of the company. Mm-hmm. How you know it's just growing and everything's on the cloud. Uh, the revenue share model, the limitless opportunities of either you know uh, being an agent and also you know trying to get other agents to see the possibilities that are available to them that Mm -hmm. are not available at a regular brick and mortar. And I want to, and I don't, I know I'm going to maybe say the wrong thing, but it's okay. It's usually what I do anyways. Um, You know, I'm, that's one thing about me. I'm very like factual Mm -hmm. and very real. So I, you know, it works for me and it gives me. I can imagine. (laughs) Yeah. But you know, the, the old school thinking of, um here's all this paper mm-hmm. now go right and i'm like and I, in the back of my mind i was like well do we have that in digital format right and i get the digital format of that right and um you know and then i, I just to i was like well i want to say i've been i've been with the company now for exactly a week i think nice happy and, anniversary huh <laughs> i did add exp for a week yeah it's only been a week yeah happy anniversary <laughs> Oh, thank you. (laughs) And I'm just excited. You know, uh, I have completely dived in Mm -hmm. to everything. Mm -hmm. Um, Why didn't you choose it at the beginning? Do you remember what you were thinking? um, What was I thinking? I was thinking I'm relatively new. I think I need a brick and mortar to be at an office where I could learn um, as much as I can and pick up as much as I can. From you were thinking that it would be from the other agents that were also in the office. Correct. But what I soon found out is because of COVID and just people weren't going into the office. Not that many people were. Many people don't anyway, even pre-COVID. Right. And that's one thing that's completely new to me. And then, you know, when I would go into the office, you know, uh, you do have a managing broker and a principal broker that's just busy. Mm -hmm. They're just busy. Mm -hmm. So there's only so much you can learn by osmosis. (laughs) So what has been your experience in this week? of learning and connecting with people and in, in that uh pure craziness on a good level <laughs> on a okay. really good level <laughs> there's so much training going on live mm-hmm. training whether mm-hmm. it's right here from the group of in indiana mm-hmm. um whether it's just everything kv mm-hmm. core uh agent success so you got you know today uh we're gonna do some slice scope basic training you know okay. how you know and, and you know sky slope to me was like you know i called my i called my mentor and i said hey uh where's the paper where do i get it she goes sky slope i'm like <laughs> oh. uh oh yeah sky slope it's Everything. basically dot loop for people that don't know right like yeah it's but it's all digital it's right all digital i'm like Oh, so I got into Sky Slope really quick. Oh, and, yeah, I'm sure. Um, you know, and then not only that, but then, you know, I'm also, uh, you know, I'm also part of uh, the agency through my sponsor, through, okay. uh, you know, um, Heather Knox and mm-hmm. Tarek Al Musa. Okay. So not only am I getting stuff from Indiana, I'm getting stuff from the XP, but now I'm, you know, I'm getting 
you know, I'm looking at it and I partnered up with, with, with the team. I'm getting like, when it comes to marketing, I'm getting Tarek Al Musa, Ramon uh, Casuas and Zach Anaya from the group. I'm getting all of their, like, all of their mentoring as well. Nice. So there's just so much training going on mm-hmm. when before, you know, and again, look, it, a small agency or a, a regular brick and mortar. Great. If you want to do that, that's fantastic. Right. Um, but it's coaching, uh, you know, only a handful of times a week, mm-hmm. you know, the availability is limited uh, because you are working with a small team and don't get mm-hmm. me wrong. If, if you want a small team, great. That's there. Mm-hmm. I'm not knocking it. For me, though, I was like, I need more technology. Mm-hmm. I need uh, possibly more coaching. Now, I might not. Maybe, mm-hmm. you know, because you're green. I'm still green. So there are things that I do know. But, you know, some coaching that I've been getting um, reassures me that I'm like, okay, I do know that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, and it's not like, you know, it's one of those things that I was telling my wife, I don't know what I don't know. Right. So for me to get coaching on something, what I'm, I don't know what I, I don't and know. I can tell for you it, and this is how a lot of people express it too. It, it just feels like the, there's a lot more quantity and quality and different perspectives, which especially as a newer agent is really helpful. Cause like yes. you said, you don't have to wait until your next you're coaching next week. You can get a hundred things between now and then and push your needle forward. Yep. My, my calendar's lit up. It's been lit up. I mean, I just like, and what's cool about it, I can just go in there and, and the cool, the cool thing about the, you know, the, the lectures and the training and all that, it's, it's just so seamless. Mm-hmm. Um, right. You know, one thing that I had an issue with at the previous place where I was at was, it, the integration of all the technology was not this seamless. Mm-hmm. Like I go to KV core, mm-hmm. which is, which I love. Which yeah. I completely love. It's a really um, good CRM system. And it's not, yeah. it's a lot of brokerages use it actually. Yeah. The CRM mm-hmm. system is just awesome, mm-hmm. especially on the website. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the landing pages would, and squeeze yeah. pages. Yeah. Before I would have a front facing website, and then I would go into a CRM and the CRM would point to another website that I had to go uh, make it look like the one that I thought was mine. Oh no! And it's like, I'm like, well, why is that landing page going someplace else? Right. Why is it not landing here? And right. I'm, I'm completely in love with my website now. <laughs> like, everything is where it's supposed to be nice it's only one website right you could actually go to greg and mm-hmm. boom there, there it you is. are um and it's just i love the crm too yeah it's just it's good. amazing I love so i'm it. hearing from you that like the highlights for you was um the technology you felt like it exp was a company of the future and not in the past Yep. And it was just more in line with who you are as a person, somebody who likes to learn, somebody who's um, passionate, somebody who loves technology. It just felt more in line. Oh, yeah, right? totally. And, yeah. I, you know, I'm looking at, you know, I was going to look at core social, too, which is something that I love doing. I mean, I'm constantly like on Twitter, on Facebook. Yeah, you like LinkedIn. marketing and right. You yeah, get all I that. love all that stuff. So I'm looking at you know, the part called core social in KV core, I'm like, Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, yeah, I think I might want to add that onto something like that's something that I looked at this morning too. Um, it's just to me, EXP just talks to me. Mm -hmm. We're talking the same language and that's the best way I could put it. Right. Everything at EXP speaks my language completely. And, um, and again, not a knock on anything else, the Mm -hmm. traditional, you know, uh, brokerage. It's yeah. just not for me. I'm, I feel so empowered. Um, in my mind has changed as mm-hmm. well. And my mind was changing like a few weeks before I made the jump. Right. Um, I was just looking at a lot more people talking about real estate and the mm-hmm. mindset and mastering right. your mind on, you know, on what's going to happen, you know, the right. reality of it, the realities. Yeah. 
And a lot of those people, I should say probably about 95% of those people that I really listen to, whether it's on YouTube or, Mm -hmm. you know, on Instagram or even, you know, Tarek Almusa or or Ramon or or Heather Knox, or even, you know, your podcast, Mm -hmm. it's just the mindset was slowly changing me into this needs to happen. And and what's weird about it is that I also made a, a marketing change as well. I was, you know, I'm spending on marketing dollars, you know, month. I mean, I started off right off the bat. I'm like, I know. And again, because of the beginning, I was listening to EXP folks mm-hmm. um, um, to what they were doing, right. uh, whether they were doing Zillow, whether they were doing this, or whether they mm-hmm. were doing, you know, Slide Dial or Co Realty Resource, you know, and I'm just naming a few of, a handful right. of mm-hmm. different things that people do to, to get leads. And um, I made a decision and it was weird around the time like two and a half weeks ago when I'm like, you know what? I, I think I need to change. Mm-hmm. I changed my marketing strategy. So my mindset was already, you know, the gears were working already. Right. It was already like, going, right. I, I need to change my marketing strategy, mm-hmm. which is something that was like, oh, don't do that at my old brokerage. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I don't think you should do that. You know, it doesn't really work. And I'm thinking, I'm like, you know, how do you know it doesn't work right. until you do it? I mean, right. You, Unfortunately, you're going to have to maybe take a chance, especially if you're new like me, right? where, you know, you're always going to find someone or people that are going to say, you know what, that stinks. Don't do it. Right. But on the same token, you're going to find people like, oh, that's great. That worked for well, me. Well, there's a lot of ways to, to be successful in real estate, mm-hmm. and it is about finding the right one for you, for sure. Yeah. So yeah. I made that marketing change. And since I changed my mindset, And now change to EXP for the first two and a half months, I was, I don't know what I was paying. Well, I do know, but I don't want to say Um, for leads and stuff like that. I, and I don't know what it is. I think it is my mindset change in the way I'm speaking and the confidence that I'm speaking with, even though I'm new. Yeah. I think I got like maybe like two calls back. Great. (laughs) Um, In the last two and a half weeks, including this week, I've gotten over 12 calls back wow. on doing things the way that I see others in EXP doing mm-hmm. way, doing things. Mm-hmm. And, you know, well, when you I surround now, yourself with people yeah. that are successful, like it will pull you up. And I think that's something that people talk about, but until you've lived it, you cannot yep. feel it and you cannot understand it, but it, to your point, it makes a huge difference. Yeah. And, and there were some signs, you know, before it's like, you know, I, I heard like, make sure when you pick a brokerage, there's other successful agents mm-hmm. that are predominantly there, not just a principal broker. Right. I kind of sidestepped that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm like, Ooh, an office. You yeah. Know, it's just, I don't know. It's just the way I was thinking three months ago is completely different. Than yeah. The well, thinking. wait for another three months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I can't, you know, I can't wait. And, and the crazy thing about it is that now I'm looking at, now I have like four to five clients that I'm now actively searching nice. for a home in this crazy market right. where like people are, po- I mean, I even, uh, you know, I even had a listing too, but you know, you, you list a house and like, Hey, you only have three days to look at it. And then the, the fourth day we're taking offers. I'm like, right. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. 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 Definitely. You know? So I, I couldn't say that I actually had four to five clients that I'm currently actively looking for a house right. in my first two and a half, three months. Right. And again, that might not be the brokers that I was with. Maybe it was just my mindset. You know? I mean, it's your mindset and it's the change, right? Because you yep. are more aligned now. Yep with it. I think it's both. And again, not a knock. It's just, it was me. I, I yeah. put it on myself. It's it's my, where my mind was in where it's at now. And I did feel that I not, not only did my mind change, but I needed to change where I was at. Yeah. And that and happens. You got to change your environment. I Absolutely. had to change my environment to go along with my mindset, because if not, I would have been at the other brokerage just going like this to all the videos that everybody's posting on EXP is like, wow, these guys are having a lot of fun. Right. I'm not <laughs> having this much here. fun. Aww. I have the mindset, but I'm not having this I'm much honest. fun. You know, <laughs> right. So 
I didn't want to do, I didn't, I didn't want to be like that. So no. I'm like, I want this fun. So now I'm almost encouraged to, to, um, you know, speak to, you know, fellow agents that are relatively new like me and just talk to them about, yeah, man, or like, Hey, it's really cool here about I changing mean, your environment and changing, yeah, changing your business. Your Absolutely. The mindset, you know, and it's just stuff that we point out, you know, you know, completely scalable, mm -hmm. your business is completely scalable. Mm -hmm. Um, the commission splits, I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah. I mean, that is like, okay. So I have yeah. to be with a mentor, you know, and it's 60, 40, I guess for like a few, and then it goes to 80, 20. Yeah. And then after the cap of 16,000, you get a hundred percent. It's like, hello. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's one thing that somebody put it, um, there's a video that I saw and I know I'm going to mess this up, but you know, why be at a brokerage? Well, when you're paying them to do your work, when you could be at a brokerage that pays you for what you are actually doing. Yeah. That's how pays you. Yeah. You're not paying the brokerage. Right. No, the brokerage is paying you Right. To ESP's do paying you to actually do your job. You're not paying the brokerage. Right. To, to normally do what you already right. do. Exactly. And it's like, and if there's nobody going into the office, mm -hmm. why are you paying a desk fee? That's true. I, 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 I mean, I think Greg, we could probably go like on and on and on. Oh, about, I know. And but I, let's... You know, when I talk to my wife about it, I'm like, uh, I'm going to be saving this amount of money because unless my wife wants to charge me for my desk fee here. Right. <laughs> right. She might. <laughs> she might, you know, it depends on the day. Right. Um, you know, I said, this totally makes sense. And the virtual cloud thing is like, yeah, that speaks to the techie in me. Yeah. Um, the profit sharing, the shares, uh, yeah, everything. you know, right. just everything. Well, I think like a lot of people will resonate with what your experience has been. If they have more questions about EXP, they want to talk to you a little bit more. Maybe they have a referral yeah. in Indiana. What is the best way to get a hold of you? Well, there's multiple ways because okay. I love technology. So okay. you could uh, you could go to the website, which I okay. love now. It's gregsotorealty.com and it okay. will take you to my EXP website. You could also reach me at Greg Soto Realty at gmail.com. Okay. And my number is 317-537-7028. And a bit of advice, if you're a new agent and you did not choose EXP Realty and you feel like you're already like, there's something in you like, well, that doesn't seem right. Yeah. You're like, man, I wish I would have made more money on that deal. Give me a call. There you Seriously. go give me a call, uh, give Jennifer a call, <laughs> give you Somebody. a call, give us a call. Seriously. Mm -hmm. We would love to talk to you about what it should feel like to be mm -hmm. a real estate agent mm -hmm. anywhere in the mm -hmm. world, because mm -hmm. this is what it should feel like. You should feel empowered in like every day to just wake up and do something, you right. know, whether I got it here on my board, whether it's, you know, open houses, calling Fizbo's, calling expired, right. Right. you know, having training every day. And I know that sounds like, oh, I don't want to get training every day. No, no, seriously, you do. Yeah. Because every one of us goes through a day where we're not up to our A game. Yeah. And you need, even if you already know, like I said before, being in a training gives you the assurance against like, oh yeah, I do know that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I remember I could do that again. Right. You know, they even say, you know, hey, take the training two, three times. Yeah, you know, why not? Maybe you Great. you'll learn something. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Maybe somebody will ask a question that nobody asked before and like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, I had that question before, too. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you have a little bit of doubt that maybe you made the wrong decision in a brokerage. You owe it to call. yourself. Yeah. 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 Just give us a call. What do you got to lose? I'm not I'm not going to say no. I'm going to take your call. I'm going to show you a PowerPoint. Maybe I'll talk to you how excited I am. Um. And I know some people, I, I mean, I've read stuff because there's always naysayers about everything. It's like, oh man, Greg's really on that Kool-Aid, you know, on yeah. the EXP Kool-Aid. It's not just Kool-Aid, it's it's facts though. That's the yeah. thing though. And, right. and it's not just made up stuff. Right. It's it's facts. Yeah, it's definitely. facts. And until you actually are here, 
you don't see it. Like, right. I would, I would tell my wife, like the first couple of days, I'm like, Oh my God, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> like I didn't have this before. What is this? Yeah. Like all these people want to talk to me. I'm part of an Indiana group now. Uh, <laughs> and, and I'm like, all these people and now a lender that that's linked up with me on my website and Mm -hmm. um we touched base the other day and it's like there's just so much going into you as an agent Mm -hmm. being successful Mm -hmm. like everybody wants you to succeed right it's different not that the old boat old older brokerage didn't yeah um it's just different it's just different yeah it, it, there's it's very agent centric here mm-hmm. like we want every agent to succeed right um, absolutely and that's i see that at the forefront well and we all everything. benefit from it which is yep. the, well yep. i really appreciate you being on greg thank you so much sure. thank all you right. have a good rest of the day all right you too jennifer okay bye